Imagine a keyboard with thousands of keys because the language you speak has thousands of characters. It turns out the most natively spoken language in the world, Mandarin Chinese, does have thousands of characters, but you can't exactly make a keyboard with 20,000 keys. So how the heck do our Chinese speaking friends enter characters on their PCs and phones without pulling their hair out in frustration? There are several common and efficient ways to do this, but it wasn't always so. Back in the mid 1970s, before word processing was widespread, there was a rather popular typewriter called the Double Pigeon. But unlike the typewriters you're probably used to seeing, it didn't even have keys. Instead, it had well over 2,000 pieces of movable type, with each piece containing either a character or part of a character. To pick one, you'd have to move a lever above the character you wanted and then press down, which would cause the arm to flip up and punch the character against the paper. Although the pieces of type were arranged in a logical fashion, it was still quite tedious to use. But it was around the same time, 1976 to be precise, that inventor Chu Bong Fu developed what's called the Kangji input method for keyboards. And if you're wondering why it's called that, it was named after the mythological inventor of the Chinese writing system. Anyhow, the Kangji system was notable because it used a standard QWERTY keyboard, alleviating concerns about whether the post-industrial age would end up leaving Chinese speaking areas behind because their language was one that just couldn't quickly be typed out. Only a few years Years after Chu's invention, he released his patent rights, meaning the Kangji system became open source, making it very popular to this day. But consider this, even if you're not trying to create a keyboard featuring every Chinese character in existence, it's estimated that an educated Chinese speaker knows between three and 8,000 characters. So how can you reduce all that down to just 87 keys? We'll tell you right after we thank Samsung for sponsoring this video. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event is right around the corner and they're sure to reveal some of the latest and greatest in on-the-go tech. Right now, you can reserve the next generation of Galaxy phones, tablets, and watches, all with no deposit required. Even better, act now and you can get a $50 credit. Be sure to check out Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event on July 26th and head to the link below and reserve your new device today. I'm not quite sure why anyone would think this, but Chinese characters aren't just constructed at random. Rather, they're often made up of elements sometimes referred to as radicals. On a Kangji keyboard, each Latin character matches up to a common radical. They're sorted according to the order of the Latin alphabet. For example, the keys for A through G roughly correspond to classical elements of nature, such as water or fire. And once you've decided which character you want to type, you build them up from these radicals, going from top of the character to the bottom, left to right, and outside to inside, meaning that you can construct a large number of characters from three or four key sequences called kanji codes. Of course, these days there are plenty of software-based tools to make typing easier for the average Chinese speaker. Similarly to how English speakers will get suggestions for what word they want as soon as they press the first key, Chinese speakers will get suggestions based on which radicals they punch in on both PCs and on phones. Which is especially useful as there are plenty of Chinese words that are composed of multiple characters. Kangji has been supplanted in popularity by other methods such as Wubi, a similar but faster shape-based system more geared towards simplified Chinese, and Pinyin, which involves typing in a romanized version of a Chinese word, which is the version that I've been saying the whole time in the script, and having software convert it to a Chinese character. But Kangji remains widespread and marked an incredibly important milestone in Chinese technological development. When you think about it, it's not all that different from how we can form tens of thousands of English words from just 26 letters, instead of having keys that say things like coconut, jerky, or attractive YouTube host. I didn't write that. That was just, that was just in there. Hey, that was a whole tech wiki. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow for Pete's sake. <laughs>